Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Taco A Valve. And I promise you guys that I, I like to document how I wire the uh, oil sensor and temperature in my car. So I'm sorry, it's just, I got so much dirt right here because I've been working on this back and forth, back and forth. So I'm gonna show you guys. Um, let me see if I can show you. Uh, okay, so um, hold on, let me, okay, there it is. What I'm trying to do is this, measurements, oil level. So I wanted to wire this oil level sensor into my um, uh, screen. So I can have this future reading low low oil and high level, whatever, low and, and high. And I also like to um, add the, the temperature, the temperature feature. So it is there. And every time I open the 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 cluster, that's the reason why this thing bips. Because down here, if you can see, guys, there is the oil oil um, feature that is waiting to be uh, receiving signal from the sensor. But since I don't have nothing connected to this, because it's never this car never came with with that feature. That's why every time I open the, the ignition switch, this fails and I get a coat for this. So I'm gonna wire this since I got all the stuff. And um, and hopefully you guys see how I done it. This, I have never done this uh, type of connection before. So I don't know how it's gonna be, if it's gonna be good or not. Um, guys, I wanted to mention something. Some people ask me, where I get this screen. The, this screen right here is not really something that you can buy like in a market right now because there's only a small group of people that make these screens and is very limited. So, I mean, I can see, I consider this purchase right here a lucky for me because uh, the guys who made this only make 100 piece and I was waiting for like four or five years to get this, to find it in the marketplace. And I finally got in, got a hand on this screen. And these guys are in UK. And as you know, UK right now are, you know, doing little thing between Russia and UK. So, you know, these guys are in danger, you know, because when I speak to the guy, you know, and and he he said right now I cannot tune your your screen because I'm in a shelter because we have you know little things that were falling from the sky and where he was working on this. So I hope you understand that these screens are very very hard to find right now, and and it's how it's been before. So I don't know who else does these screens, but these guys. They he told me that they might have more in two months, so we will see. He said all depends if you know war stop or getting or war let them a little space in between to work on it. But that's what they told me. So that is hard to find. This this right here. Someone asked me this right here. That's easy to find. This is AliExpress, guys. If you type uh, radio, AliExpress. If not, I can just send you the link. I'm trying to talk to the guy I purchased this. So uh, see if he can give you guys a discount. So that's why I haven't posted the link for this particular uh, screen. But if the guy agree, I will post the link. And uh, if it give you a little discount or something. I try to look for you guys, but I don't know. I'm not promising promise anything, but hopefully... Um, he agree. Uh, so, um, let me see. Uh, it's fast. I really like the, the, the screen. It has the camera, uh, future. You, you guys can see it's like 
it's pretty clear okay anyway that is separate so what we're after is remember the the uh oil level temperature whatever sensor so i'm gonna have to read the instruction and see how i can wire that to my cluster so stay tuned on that and let's go outside and i'm gonna show you what i have so far in order to complete this i need this oil pan with the sensor um uh plug so i can remove that and put the sensor oil sensor i also need this this harness right here was provided by uh cluster by L litke he was the guy who put my screen into my cluster in my car i didn't do it he did it for me i mean there's instruction that you can do it i didn't want to fool with it so he did that also he mentioned that he has this so i purchased two from him because i'm doing two two uh kits and i also purchased this this sensor it has to be genuine genuine uh bosch or hella so make sure you got the right one not not get a cheap one so that being said let's start I'm gonna read the instructions how I can do this, but that will be um, the first thing to do. I cannot work with two hands. <laughs> I mean, with one hand, one on the phone, one on the on the porch. But look, this is how it looks, and I'm guessing that's how it goes that way. Good thing it has a seal in there, that little seal. Okay, so let's see everything so we can have more stuff added to our mark 4 that did not come with the this type of uh connection so there it is guys uh just go easy with yep i don't know i don't want to put that much impact I'm gonna check with by hand. But there you go, guys. So now I'm gonna have to drain the oil on this thing, jack that up, remove the oil pan, inspect on the bottom, see how, how it looks like. And then um, I'm gonna put this first. So being connected, let me see, is that plug even plug into this? This one has three, let me see. I didn't even check that. Yeah, that one has three, three as well. Three pins, so we're looking good now. Let's see if it plugs right in. Wow, how separate these three parts were away from each other and now they're gonna meet all three right here and be working in my car. That is amazing. All right guys, stay tuned. Okay, so what we need to do first is drain the oil. But as you can see, the oil pan already has like the shape where they should pull the, you know, pull, put the sensor in there. So that would be nice if this one has that. Some people, what they do is cut this. Cut a hole in there, but I don't, I don't know about that. So what I'm gonna try to do right now is try to drain the oil. Oh, it's not mighty. Hmm, somebody replace it. Hmm. Okay, okay, after me back and forth trying to find the right wrench. Well, turns out it was a 15. So uh I know I should use the the electronic one. Let me put that oil pan down back there. Get ready. I don't even have a rack for cleaning my hands. Okay, there you go. That thing is out. Oh, wow. That's that's a nice flow there. So, I'm not going to bore you guys with an oil guys, a chain quick tip. drain. Um, there is two bolts. They are very hard to get out of here without stripping it. You can You can do it two ways. I found out that this is my best way. As you can see, I got a 10 millimeter socket. 
I cut it in the half, make it shallow, real, real small. And I use extension that it has uh, this uh, swivel option. So don't press it all the way in, just like here. So you can bend it like this. You see, you can bend it like that. When you be able to bend it like that, now you, you, you're you able to like put them inside and get the screw out. And I saw, I'll show you in a minute the other way. This is uh, very easy the way I do it right now. But let me show you the other way in a minute. So this gets the gets the bolt out. It's there now. It's loose. The only thing is I have to take him out. See, it's loose there. So I need to put the on uh, magnet, the magnet somehow in here so I can pull him out. Okay, there you go. So I have no. No more uh, uh, screws in there. So I got every single one out, not stripping it. But here's the thing. Um, I create this. I cut it, as you can see, it's shallow. I cut it on the back, on the front. It's gear neck, so I don't care about this. I care about like that angle. You cannot get any angle with any swivel um, uh, adapter or anything. So it goes like that, very shallow. So make sure it's very tight and push it up while you uh, loosen it. So you don't strip the head of this. If you ever uh, strip the head, now I'm going to show you, but the inside, you can use a uh, Allen um, a long Allen key for this long one with a 3A socket. Make sure you don't strip this because when you strip this, you are done if you you get this to like that, strip it. So I use this socket from the outside first and uh, it's been working for me. So this is my special socket that I made for this uh, situation. So okay, my hopefully friends. it works for you. I got the oil pan in there, tag it, because I'm testing um, the height on this sensor because that thing goes in quite a bit, man. So what I find out is the it has like a square spot in there where, where it should go. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, what I find out is I have to drill a hole on the plastic, uh, shell you know i have to drill that hole in there so it go through that is the uh crankshaft uh cap not the rock the crankshaft itself that is spin it's just the the cap that's the bolt right there so i was afraid that this might not work but uh, uh the only thing I, I i did it has like a square spot where where this one should point you see that's where it should uh point so the only thing I did was drill a hole there and uh, this thing fits uh, perfectly fine there. So now um, I'm just gonna bolt everything in. But that was the only issue I find out that you guys have to drill that, that where the square thing is, just drill it. So I okay, guess guys, everything um, is good to go. I just got done applying the gasket maker. Guys, put enough. Don't be cheap on here. Just put enough because you don't want to remove the oil pan to reseal it. And remember, these ones don't use gasket, so it's best to just put enough gasket maker. And another thing, I I, I kind of like this right here because I was worried about what if that sensor like knocks out or something. But you look, you can see it's like inch and a half a uh, uh, higher plug right here, so it doesn't you know, run out of uh, oil. If that sensor knocks out, the engine's still gonna have some oil in there. So that's pretty cool because it's higher in there. So not all the oil will drain out. So that's pretty cool. I thought I can mention it. You know, I thought I mentioned this so you guys maybe know the purpose of that. My friends, <laughs> it is a month 
later. It's asking me to put the seat belts. But it's a month later, man, and uh, I finally were able to to do the the oil thing. So there you go. Now it's measuring how much uh, oil I have. So that's pretty cool. Oil level and also tells you the minimum, the maximum, and the temperature. So you can um, you can put that screen. Hold on, let me see. That's number. Where is it? So this right here it tells you the oil temperature, uh, master flow, throttle body, throttle body look. The other one is the um, the EGT also works. So there you go, guys. Um, just want to show you guys this real quick. And it was a success. And it was a success. So um, I'm going to wrap it up the video right here. That was pretty cool. Um, now I'm working on um, to have an oil pressure right here. Oil pressure. So I ordered the sensor. And um, we will see if, um, if, it, if it can also display that as well. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one.